All right, so so see. Oh, it's like so seeds. That's not the name of this place, is it? Nigel's Handiworks, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Closed Wednesdays. Nigel's Handiworks. You may purchase farm facilities and upgrades at Nigel's Workshop. Once you've repaired a dilapidated farm facility for the first time, Nigel will begin to sell them. You may also commission him to expand your home. Hours of operation, 8 a.m. 6 p.m. Close Wednesdays. Okay, so I'm guessing this means we can buy a chicken coop from him now? And you must be Nigel. Hello! Nigel! I'm Nigel! Nigel! <laughs> Just to say it one more time. Let me know if you ever need any carpentry work done. I've got the skills, so I may as well put them to good use, yeah? Anyway, be seeing ya. I like how we're meeting everybody at the same time that we're... Just kind of exploring the town. And I like that there's some kind of indication that you get when you've already... Like, when you haven't talked to somebody before. Wow, this person has a super deep voice. Ralph, I do regular patrols of the forest, so I'm confident it's safe for some tourists to come here. Hello. Do you need something? Okay, we didn't get the little dingly ding. So I'm guessing we've already talked to Ralph. I've already forgotten. This is love it. <laughs> My goodness. If I write about the del delectable cuisine to be found in this town, it's sure to have tourists flocking to it in an instant. Alright. You should do that, love it. Norman's Groceries. Norman sells various cooking ingredients at his store. His lineup will change each season, so check back often to see what's in stock. Why not experiment with some of his fresh seasonal ingredients next time you cook? Hours of operation, 10 a.m., 6 p.m., close Mondays. Today's Monday. So we didn't miss him. <laughs> We're just going to believe that he's been closed. Norman, have we met somewhere before? Oh, you're Wega. It's nice to meet you. I'm Norman, this town's grocer. If you're ever looking for ingredients or food, I'm your man. Come see me anytime. Look at this food that they're eating. It looks so good. It's like, uh, was this baked fish or something? And then some... Some rolls and some butter? A salad? Some soup? These people are eating good. Hey! Laura, if you're looking for the lowdown on Olive Town, then you've come to the right gal. Wait, you're Wega. Mayor Victor told me about you. I'm Laura, the town's tour guide. No question is a dumb question as far as I'm concerned, so fire away if there's anything you'd like to know. <laughs> I want this town to be THE most happening place around so we bring in more tourists. I wonder if that's like the aim of this game, is to bring in tourists. Because that would make it like, uh, what's that 3DS game? Oh, there's a 3DS game. It was like late in the 3DS's life. You play like a little seed sprout in the desert. Oh man, I can't think of the name of this game, but it, the whole premise of it was bringing in tourists to your town. <laughs> it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I believe I've heard of you. You're Wega, correct? And her name is Sydney. My name is Sydney. I usually work in the city. Olive Town is a nice place. My family loves it here too. It's gonna kill me that I can't remember the name of that game. <laughs> I guess I could just like get up and look it up, but then I'd have to get up. These houses are all so nice. I wouldn't necessarily want to live in this one. Like they don't have, I guess I haven't been paying attention that much, but none of these houses have doors. <laughs> it's like, how do you live in a house with other people and no doors? It was like, uh, oh, it just like flashed into my head the name of that game, and then I lost it. <laughs> yeah, we went to the. I wonder if people show up in the bistro at night. All right, this is not like the the bar in Stardew. People do not meet here at night. Hello. Okay, we don't necessarily. I can say we don't really want to eat me though. We can. She only sells desserts at night? Then they're super expensive? Like, get out of here. Get out of here. 
Um, she works at the bistro. Mm -mm. This town would be so much more fun if it was the teensiest bit livelier. I hear that. Like the problems of living in a small town. The Gulls Rest Hotel and Cafe. If you're not terribly hungry but need a light meal after work, stop by Sally's Cafe. It's a great place to take a break every once in a while. I was operation, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Close Tuesdays. It says the... Oh, I guess... I was going to say, this says the Gulls Rest Hotel and Cafe. It does not say Sally's Cafe. I like the music here. Weather girl. All right, everyone. You know what time it is. Oh, no. Our three-day weather forecast. <laughs> All right, sunny on today, Tuesday sunny, Wednesday skies, sunny skies on Wednesday. All right, so three days of sun. Oh my gosh. Just taking this pirate cosplay to the next level. Ahoy! Jason, you're Wega, right? I've heard about you. Have you heard about me? Oh, you haven't? I'm Jason, though I may look the part of a dashing Corsair. I'm actually the owner of the Gulls Rest Hotel. It's like, I probably could have guessed that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if all of town was a bit busier, we'd get more customers. Does she live here? Seems like it. Okay. <laughs> she just like disappeared. Wonder if she's in here somewhere. Hi there. Sally, hello, Wega. I'm Sally and I run the cafe. Have some coffee. I make a mean cup of joe if I do say so myself. Okay, I'm guessing that's the daughter. Blair is like the daughter of Sally and the guy downstairs. It's yeah. It's like cause the blonde hair, the very colorful dress, like, they have got to be related. So, like, each family seems like they have, like, a, a clothing theme. Well, this kid doesn't look like a pirate. <laughs> Looks like Vegeta. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mikey. Fun fact, I can shoot lasers from my eyes. Pew pew. Alright, he's definitely a Vegeta cosplayer. What's your name, Wega? Okay, I'm gonna remember that. He's not going to remember it. My goodness, she has so many dressers. Oh. Work at the bistro. Buy, drop by sometime if you're not sure what to do for lunch. I'll treat you to something nice. Oh. I was looking to see if we had anything to like give. Alright, so we need to figure out what kind of gifts we can give people. That'll be our task for tomorrow. Oh, somebody just went upstairs. Use the elevator. Go to Beth's room. Go to Karina's room. Ah, what? Who's Beth? Um. Hello, you're Wega, right? My name's Beth. I'm something of an archaeological enthusiast. I'm on the hunt for antiques in this town. I'm only a guest staying at the hotel, but in any case, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, she didn't have a heart next to her name. Oh. Like, totally be trying to, like, date Beth in this game. I only came here to sightsee, but I'm being treated like a full resident now. Wait, she travels with actual crates. <laughs> Go to Karina's room. I think we ran across Karina. Yeah, Karina. Uh -huh. Also did not have a heart next to her name. Whenever I cut Mikey's hair, he gets nervous and his or that is he gets so nervous that his teeth chatter. I have to imagine the poor kid leaves the salon exhausted. <laughs> she seems like she's also a guest. I wonder if that means like different people come into the town at different times and stuff. What is this? Okay, <laughs> we have two ways to get in there. It's like a ticket office. We can't get on the boat. Oh, 
Wind's flowers. Wind's flowers. Wind sells a variety of flowers, flower seeds, and furniture at his shop. His lineup will change each season, so check back often to see what's in stock. You can also request to make perfumes and bouquets. Hours of operation, 8 a.m., 6 p.m. Close, Mandy's. Okay, flowers and perfumes. Aromatics, I could see how the two would go together. Like, the houses in this game are just so nicely decorated. Hi. Lynn. Yes? Might I ask who you are? Your name is Wega. Oh, you're the one who came to town riding a motorcycle. <laughs> We're the bad boy. <laughs> my name is Lynn. I manage the flower shop with my grandpa. We'd be delighted to receive your patronage. Like, you can be less formal, Lynn. Like, we're both apparently in our 20s, I think the game said. Alright, it's 11.30. Oh, this must be Wynn. Wynn. Hmm, who are, who are you again? Oh, Wega. So you're the one, then. Name's Wynn. My granddaughter and I run the flower shop. If you ever want flowers or seeds, come to me. Okay. Worker's base tool shop. All right, we gotta go home. Nigel's handiworks. All right, so we just have to go behind Nigel's handiworks tomorrow and then finish exploring the town. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Heebie jeebie. <laughs> Get in the bed! Hit the hay and call it a day. <laughs> All right. We're dropping bars in this game right now. We did not make much money today. Oregano? Not worth a lot. Moondrop flower. I think we're going to start keeping these moondrop flowers and giving them as gifts. We can try to give a blood clam to see if people like that. The grocery store has expanded its product lineup. So today we can plant... Oh man, I probably should have left earlier. Like, stopped exploring the town a little bit earlier so that we could have come back and planted those seeds. But today is a new day. Victor, top of the morning to you. I hope you're ready for another lesson. Today I thought it'd be wise to teach you a bit about using raw materials. Unfortunately, I'm not what you'd call a specialist, so I've enlisted the help of Nigel, our local carpenter. Good morning, Wega. My specialty is house and furniture. Or housing and furniture, you see. But I know enough about materials to teach you a thing or two. Have you been picking up logs and stones? You can craft all sorts of useful things with them. You could turn them into a fence for livestock, for one thing. If you're going to run a farm, I'd say that's a pretty good use, eh? Naturally, you'll figure out other ways to utilize your materials as you go about developing your farm and such. Crafting. You can make items from the crafting menu in your notebook. As your skill levels increase, more crafting recipes will become available to you. Might as well teach you about makers while I'm here. See, makers can process your raw materials into new materials entirely. Really useful tools, makers. Once you get your hands on them, I'm sure you'll figure out even better things to craft. One thing to keep in mind when using a maker, though. They'll take time to process your materials. Figured I'd let you know. They're not instant! What?! Makers are special farm facilities that can process various types of raw materials. Yeah, we were looking at those earlier. A splendid explanation from Nigel. Quite easy to follow, don't you think? Now, how will you use your newfound knowledge? That, of course, will be entirely up to you. For now, I should be heading home. Until tomorrow. <laughs> He's so out of place, like, wearing that like little tiny suit. The chat camera... With the chat camera enabled, you can interact with the locals in a brand new way. Simple, simply speak with them and see, your, see for yourself. You can change the chat camera settings at any time from the options menu. Okay, it just looks like first person mode. Who this? Angela's birthday. I don't know if we've talked to an Angela. 
Wynn's birthday. Lynn's birthday. Jacopo's birthday. Jack's birthday. Alright. Beth's birthday. Dosetsu's birthday. Jason's birthday. Oh yeah, the red flags I'm guessing are holidays. Egg hunt. Pet derby. Alright. Very Stardew-esque. And today we have full stamina. And we went to bed later than we did the first day. So I wonder if it's just because we actually had stamina when we went to bed. Alright, what are our... We have 24 grass, 3 logs, 22 rocks. So I think cutting down some trees would be the way to go. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Right, and then we need to plant our seeds. Alright, it's so relaxing. Do you want to... Like, why is doing chores in video games more relaxing than doing chores in real life? <laughs> It's like, some days they'll be like, oh, I need to go cut the grass, and it's like, I just can't be bothered, but I can do it all day long in Stardew Valley. <laughs> Alright, I just kind of want to, I don't want to cut down all the trees, I just want to, like, cut down some of the trees in the super dense areas so that we can actually... What the heck? <laughs> Got you baited. I want to find out what those things are. I think we might need a net. I don't know if that's a thing, but it kind of feels like it should be a thing. <laughs> Alright, cutting down trees is very stamina intensive work. So what are we sitting at? 28 logs, 24 uh, grass, 22 rocks. Harvest the plant. Oh my god. <laughs> Losing items. Items you leave on the ground will disappear the next day. Keep important items safe and don't drop anything you wouldn't want to lose. Uh, I guess we don't have the space. Um, excuse me, birds. Two, one, two. What are you? <laughs> Show me your ways, thing. Oh no. Oh no. All right, I'm not even gonna chase those things anymore. Hopefully, we end up figuring out what they are. Alright, so I think we need two 9x9 nine nine plots. I guess we could just keep this one going so we don't waste the stamina. Okay, we got lucky. Dude, oh my god, just face left. Whoa. <laughs> let's go at it this way. Alright. Throw our pickles in the ground. And then we got some potatoes. We got something else, right? Radish? My goodness, this is not a quick task. <laughs> tea leaves. We'll put the tea leaves closer to home. I just... <laughs> no! Okay, we're gonna need to buy, like, one more seed of something. Uh... Alright. Let's do this. Like, we haven't even watered these things yet. Okay. 
Okay, and then this is where we put our tea leaves. It's like, be careful not to cut down any of our new seeds. Alright. So far, so good. Dude, it's almost 1 o'clock in game time. This day has just gone by. Haven't even really done much. <laughs> But what we need to make sure that we do is go buy at least one more seed to plant it. We'll probably buy, what's that, five, six more seeds. And then we'll have like two even, what is this, like three by, <laughs> three by six? Two even three by six plots. Like, <laughs> once we get to upgrading tools and stuff, upgrading this water can is definitely going to be priority one. Like, this is going to be painful if we try to grow a bunch of plants. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I feel like using the water can is... I mean, it's more exhaustive than cutting down trees. Oh, you know what? I left the chicken outside. <laughs> I don't know why that just dawned on me now. But we definitely left churches outside. Feeding your animals. Place fodder in your animals' feed bins. They'll eat the fodder from the bins every day. Animals who have been fed will produce byproducts the next day. Alright, so I'm guessing it auto puts your pets inside. Grazing, not pregnant. It like auto puts your pets back inside, and then since we let him out, he was eating weeds and stuff, so we got an egg out of it. <laughs> like, I'll take it. I thought we could, like, soak up the water. Let's get that out of the way, so we don't have to do it tomorrow. Ooh, the egg is worth 99 gold. I'm gonna hold on to this turnip and the wild berry. We'll put one in there. Alright, so let's check the crafting menu. We can make an ingot maker, and we can make a, a lumber thing. So, let's... Using makers. After crafting a maker, it can be placed anywhere on your farm. Insert an item into the maker. Wait for the processing time to elapse, and boom! The freshly processed items are yours to use. Okay, so now we gotta cut down some more trees. Some moondrop flower. Yeah, we need to definitely do a pass around our farm to see if there's anything for us to harvest. We'll put the makers, like, over here for now. Actually, like, would it be... We need to, like, think about this. So I don't want to put stuff really over here until we... Eh, screw it. We'll just put it here. Or n not. Doesn't seem like we can put anything up there. Alright, now I'm just wasting time. <laughs> we'll put our maker... here. 
insert three wood. Oh my goodness. <laughs> three wood makes one lumber. Alright. Turn up. It's about time for you to get eated. That turn up gave us one heart. <laughs> Let's just look for stuff to harvest. Alright, tomorrow we're going to have to focus on cutting down trees. First thing we'll do is water our plants. And then we'll cut down trees. What? Let's see if we can buy our six seeds real quick. I think it was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the? Oh, it's Tuesday. Frickin' Tuesday! <laughs> I was like, where is this person? It's not even 5 o'clock yet. Alright, well, <laughs> let's go explore the town, I guess. So we didn't make it over here. Lovett's house, Gourmet Palace. Lovett leaves requests in his mansion for those who wish to test their cooking skills. If you're up to the challenge, submit one of his requested dishes to find out if your cooking is enough to satisfy the bone vivant. <laughs> These portraits are uh, something else. This is actually like a legit painting right there. Like that is really good. What the heck? His sheets and pillowcase are all like stitched together. And like everything is shoved into this one room. But like this is like a super nice and regal room. So he's like all show. And then he's. This is what he actually lives like. That's a metaphor! <laughs> Although, like, that is a super nice house with, like, a probably the best location. <laughs> the six o'clock music, just, like, the shift in music is something. Alright, Jack's a bit of a late bloomer, but he's always got everyone's best interest in mind. As the days go by, trees and grass or wild grasses will sprout up on your farm. You can get rid of them easy with a hammer and sickle. Take care of those fields, you hear? Take care of him with communism! Right. A proper before bed skincare routine is absolutely essential. There's no such thing as too much when it comes to taking care of your complexion. Wahoo! Wahoo! <laughs> I must say, I love this town. And you as well, of course. Oh, okay. Everybody's super nice to us. My dad's kind of an oddball, but he's not a bad guy, really. Oh. I didn't think anyone in their right mind would go out of their way to live in a backwater town like this. The city's so much more interesting. Or exciting, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> like, living in a small town is... Eh. I feel like if you're, you already have a family and you're kind of established in life, then it's not bad. Mm-hmm. But never would I choose it. Misaki is one of those people who you lose track of time talking to, you know? She's got so many interesting things to say. Is this the first time we've talked to Laura? So, all of town's incredible, right? Let me know if you... Oh, no, no, no. She's... Yeah, yeah. She's the daughter of, uh... The grocer. Uh, let me know if you ever need a guide. Giving tours is kind of my forte. We'll eventually get these names down. Okay, tourist. So it's like, she looks like someone we've never talked to. This place is gorgeous at night. Okay. So it's kind of cool that we have Ever Oasis. I don't know why that just popped into my head right there. But that's the game I was trying to think of where you have to like build up a town and have tourists come visit you. <laughs> but it's cool that this game has tourists that like randomly come visit. Uh, Alright, I think we've, like, hit everything. I'm a night owl at heart. 
Sometimes I accidentally go in the wrong hotel room. There's two hotel rooms that I've seen. <laughs> How? How do you mess that up? Don't you find yourself wishing more people would come to this town? I wrote to my friend Sandra another letter recently. I'll need to wait a bit for a reply. But I do feel like keeping in touch is worth the effort. Okay. Oh, he's in here just chilling, enjoying some food. Everybody's oh eating this fish and bread. <laughs> this town's changed a lot from the olden days, I tell you. And it'll keep growing. He looks just like so happy and content with life. Did you know, the world has a ton of towns that are way huger than this? <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. Hello. Bonsoir, Wega. How's it going? <laughs> Alright, so there was a tab here. Okay, this one. It's like, there was a tab here that showed your relationships and stuff. I wonder if talking to people every day... Oh, there's still some people we haven't talked to. If talking to people every day kind of works like Stardew Valley and it helps to increase these heart values, but we're not on the board with anybody yet. So we gotta try finding someone that we can give uh, an item to. Flowers are so pretty. We've been up here, right? Olive Museum? What? How have we not been here before? <laughs> it's like a whole section that we haven't seen, apparently. <laughs> Gloria? Pardon me. Yes, you over there. Might I have a moment of your time? Olive Museum was established so that tourists the world over could view some of the splendors our town holds. As you can see, however, we currently have few spectacles to attract our visitors with. It's quite the conundrum. For a while now, I've considered making art of the local wild animals, but I don't have the resources I need. I have a request for you. If you have the time to do so, would you be able to take pictures of those wild animals? Using that camera? Photos can be taken with the camera. You'll be able to move around while in camera mode as well. A blue outline will be displayed on wild animals whose photos you can donate to the museum. It's like... Animal Crossing mixed with Stardew Valley mixed with Harvest Moon mixed with Pokemon Snap. <laughs> I suppose I should also mention that I have an interest in building an aquarium. If you could donate any sea creatures to us, I'd be most graceful, grateful. Oh, and I almost forgot. From time to time, you might come across relics of ages past. Rainia can, can't get enough of them. If you find something out of the ordinary, feel free to show it to her. She'll examine it for you. We'd appreciate any support you can provide us. I'll be counting on you. Alright, Reyna. We have not talked to a Reyna. Olive Museum. The museum accepts a wide variety of donations, such as treasures you find on the farm, photos of wild animals, and fish. Hours of operation, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Closed on Thursdays. Appraisals in the museum shop. After making a new donation, Beth will create the and sell faux decor you can place in your home. If you happen upon any mysterious or time-worn objects, you can hand them over to Reyna for appraisal. I was looking at this when she was talking. It was like, this thing looks awesome. <laughs> Thought there was something back there. Okay, we got some stuff going on here. <laughs> oh, this must be Reyna. Oh. Are you Wega by any chance? Thought so. I heard from Mayor Victor that you came here from the city. I'm Reyna. I work at the museum. Let me know if you ever happen across anything rare. Okay, Reyna has a heart next to her name. I like how laid back the town is, but we could do with a few more tourists. What she got going on in here? Oh, that's a cool photo. Could 
Could you imagine sleeping next to an aquarium? <laughs> like it's the light in aquariums are it's always like so nice, but look. Like, just the vibes of it seems like it would be really nice. And we got more museum. What are we moving? <laughs> the door? Move the door. <laughs> Some of these photos that kill me. Hello. Oh yes, I've heard of you. You're Wega, correct? My name is Gloria. I curate the museum. You're welcome to peruse our exhibits anytime the mood strikes you. No. What can we do to get more tourists to come? <laughs> Jacopo. Alright, this is the first time we've talked to him. My own old man told me about you. You're Wega, right? I'm Jacopo. In case you haven't guessed, I'm the mayor's son. I got a gig working on the ferry. Pleasure's mine. Right. He kind of... Maybe I'm jumping to conclusions. So he kind of... Uh, seems like a not-so-fun person. Olive Hall. Requests from the townsfolk are posted up on the bulletin board in the back of Olive Hall. Submit the requested items and you'll be rewarded for your efforts. Okay, okay. Olive Town Bulletin Board. Requests from the townsfolk can be posted on the bulletin board daily and will change every day. If you submit the requested items, you'll be given a reward as thanks for your trouble. Requests from the townsfolk are posted here, Mayor Victor. Requesting a royal for no! <laughs> 200 gold. Oh man, we sold all the ones that we had. <laughs> Getting title rewards. Whenever you're fulfilled certain conditions and obtain new titles, come to all of all. You receive rewards based on the titles you've gained. Accept title reward. Ooh. Was that 20 fences? One whatever that is, another whatever that is, another whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know. Seems like we're gonna get a lot of those. And we got tin fodder. <laughs> Alright, that's weather report. It's like a park. Who lives here? Alright, when did we get milk? <laughs> oh, is this Makari's house? Oh no, the, the Dosetsu or whatever. Oh. Dosetsu. You are Master Wega, correct? I've heard tell of you from Master Victor. I'm called Dosetsu. I've attended the young Master Lord Lori since his birth. The town has few residents, which causes the young master and I to appear all the more conspicuous. <laughs> it's Sasuke! Ah. Lori, dear me, I've not seen you in these parts before. Are you new to this town? You're Wega, a fine name, I so commit it to memory. I'm called Lori. I hope we can forge an excellent relationship. This town is not unpleasant, but it could do with a certain amount of bustle. Hey, right, this seems like a really nice house. What we got going on up here? I was trying to see if we could take a photo of that fox. <laughs> The shrine radiates a mysterious energy. Offer prayers. Okay. How nice is that? You have this awesome view, like on these cliffs. Uh, 
Is this another house we haven't seen? Or is this the same house? Nope, it's a different house. Just like a little cabin. Oh, that's where that led. All right, well, I think we explored everything in the town now, <laughs> at least everything that we can get to. So now we can just focus on getting resources. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna definitely try to get our seeds. All right, we're gonna have to offload some stuff. Bronzetown Metal. We can put these fodder in the the, the chicken box. <laughs> we could set up the fence. Milk. It's worth 135 gold. got our lumber. We definitely need to figure out a way to <laughs> build like a storage box or something. Like we need a place to offload things. Alright. I was looking to see if there's anything to harvest, but it's getting late. We got a hundred and nineteen gold. Oh man, I ate lunch before starting the second video, and I'm starting to feel it. <sighs> okay. Good morning. I hope tent life is treating you well. It seems like you're getting used to it. In fact. Still, I know a tent is neither luxurious nor convenient, which is why I wanted to teach you about home expansions today. Your home or tent can be expanded into a log cabin with enough materials and money. Remember, Nigel? Oh, uh, remember Nigel, the fellow from yesterday? As I mentioned, he's our local carpenter. If you head on over to his workshop and commission him, he'll be more than happy to upgrade your house into something special. You can request house expansions at Nigel's Handiworks. Once you've expanded your house, you can cook, own pets, and live your best farm life. You can cook your own meals, take a bath to relax after a hard day's work. To do all that, however, you'll need to upgrade your tent to a log cabin, so it might be a good idea to prioritize an upgrade. That said, I taught you all I can. As mayor, I'm usually in town, so don't hesitate to find come find me if you need anything. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do. I'm sure you'll create a farm that's just as wonderful as your grandfather's. Okay. Well, now we have a clear goal. <laughs> um, what else do we have that we can do? What are these? Are these, like, new trees sprouting up? <laughs> Maybe we just let those grow? Yeah, like the watering of the plants is like pretty relaxing. The hand that waters. What would have been like a clever pun that they could have used? They did the hand at waters. What else could you do? Mm. Can't think of anything. <laughs> so now I see why they went with the hand at waters. Okay.
Man. <laughs> Wait, why didn't we get a harvester title? If we were just watering flowers. <laughs> Alright, churches. Get out there and cease the day. I don't think we picked that egg up. Okay, 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 okay. Let's look. What can we craft? Like, we need a box of some sort. That would be immensely helpful. Like, we could put this fodder... We could put the fodder in here. Just store it for a rainy day. Okay. So then... That frees up our inventory. Two slots. We watered the plants. Let's just uh, start cutting down some trees. Oh my gosh, I cannot hit this tree to save my life. <laughs> Mysterious creatures. You might notice some odd little creatures hopping around on a farm while you're pioneering your working hard. Maybe something good will happen if you find a lot of them. So do we not do anything with them? Like, we just do stuff and they just pop out and then that counts? Fledgling logger? My God! <laughs> I just want to cry <laughs> when it comes to like trying to chop down these trees. Like they just cannot line up. What are you doing? You got it. Okay, just do a quick pass to see if there's anything worth looting. No. It's like no harvestable things. Down some more trees. Oh, that's our second sap. I think we're doing pretty good. I don't know why, but I feel like we're not going to be ready for the water can. <laughs> so it's like somebody has well go ahead and renew it. And then we can either stay on a farm or we'll like go, go back into the town and check some stuff out. <laughs> 